Okay, reinvent in five minutes uh, or so. I'm using Amazon TimeSync. I have no idea how long a minute is anymore. Let's get after it. VPC Lattice. You want to have a whole bunch of things talk to each other, but you don't want to wind up understanding how it works, and you want to have yet an additional dimension where you're getting billed per gigabyte. Amazon Onyx. Yeah, that's something they dreamt up at the Planet Arium. I have no idea why they'd call it that. No idea what it does. It's not for me. Multiple MFA devices on root and IAM users. I know, sounds like something I would have asked for 12 years ago. I did, I finally got it today. I'm thrilled. Best, of, best release ever of this or any other reInvent, past, present, or future. Amazon Code Catalyst. I want to go ahead and slap together a whole bunch of services on a whiteboard and have it come to life and just work. That's right. Instead of backing up your laptop, it's going to production, Skippy, because it works on your machine. My whiteboard is now part of production. AWS Supply Chain. That's right. There's the problem right now, and that is that supply chain has a giant issue. That issue is Amazon itself, particularly with small businesses. Amazon sees it slightly differently. Their problem is they don't understand enough about everyone else's supply chain. I'm sure this will end well for everyone. An absolute raft of data opportunities, enhancements, and services, both the underlying data services themselves, as well as a whole universe of things, all starting with the word SageMaker. All I know about SageMaker is that it cost me hundreds of dollars at random after reInvent last year, and I'm still bitter about it, so I'm boycotting it. Sucks to be them. CloudWatch metrics now work cross-account, but not cross-region. Someone spends too much time playing chess, and they figure, oh, it can go forward and back and up and down, or diagonally. Look at the queen. The queen can do both of those things. Strive to have your services resemble queens. A whole bunch of enhancements came out to AWS Glue. That's due to the very sad fate of AWS Horse. Snap start for Lambda means that cold starts aren't really a thing anymore and you can get basically running instantly. That's great, except it's for Java only. And if you're a Java developer, you do absolutely nothing quickly. So what do you care? There are now dedicated Microsoft Office AMIs available in the AWS marketplace. AWS provides the licenses for it. Congratulations. They are about to win the prize for Microsoft's least favorite partner of the year. Amazon Document DB suspiciously had its formal name changed. It no longer has a proper name, and I'm not kidding, of Amazon Document DB with MongoDB compatibility. The with MongoDB compatibility part was in parentheses and is now gone. Huh. Wow, that's unfortunate. Everyone really liked that particular nomenclature. QuickSight, which every imagines what Tableau would look like if it had no customers because it was terrible, now can output in printable PDF. Please consider the environment before printing this boring corporate report that nobody will ever read. AWS config rules now support proactive compliance. Kind of a joke. Your compliance department hasn't been proactive a single freaking day in their entire career. AWS Verified Access launched. I can't wait to get my blue check mark in the AWS console. How much was that one gonna cost me? So that's effectively a summary of what happened at reInvent, what came out of it, and what to think about in terms of making your decision of whether you should attend it next year. I'll be here because it's not like I really have a choice anymore. I'm along for Mr. Solipsky's wild ride until I'm not invited anymore slash barred from the premises. Please let it be soon.